morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Monday. Come on, guys. It's a brand new week, and I'm feeling Jesus, and I'm just so happy about the Lord and what he's doing in our lives. Come on, guys. It's a new week. Come on. Act like a thing is so, even though it ain't so, in order that it might be so, because God said so. God has a word for you today. It comes from 2 Timothy chapter 2 uh, in verse um, nine is where we're at. Paul says, for which I am suffering, he's talking about the gospel, bound with chains as a criminal, but the word of God is not bound. The word of God is not bound. The word of God is not bound. Ever feel like moments where you've been tied up and you can't do anything and you just walled up into a hole and the only way it's going to work out is if God decides to just show up and show out. And I got an amen right there. Uh, there's these seasons and these moments in our life whereby we're bound. Our words are bound. Our influence is bound. Our money is bound, right? Our, um, our, our opinions are bound. But Paul here is celebrating in the moment where he himself is bound. Remember, he's on executioner's row. He's on death row, about to get beheaded for the gospel. This is the last of his life. But he's rejoicing that even in this season where he is bound, the word of God is not. I remember my first sermon, November 15th, 1998. And I read my Bible and studied it for three months preparing for this first sermon. And I didn't read the whole Bible in that three months, but I read a good two thirds of the Bible. And I'm just trying to be faithful. My church was training me and preparing me. And I was to preach on a Sunday night. It would have been packed, right? Hundreds of folks there from all over the state and even the South, because that's it's kind of a big deal in those days. And here I am, and I'm getting up to two weeks before the sermon, and it hit me that I don't have a message. And read my Bible morning, noon, and night, and just can't find anything. I was probably 20, 21 years old. Couldn't, couldn't, could not find a passage. And guys, even though I worked so hard on it, it became the day of the sermon, and still had no idea what was preached. It's a true story nervous as a house cat in the river, nervous as a hooker in church. I mean, I had no idea what I was gonna preach. And we get to that Sunday night service and me and my dad, my dad's a pastor, and we're kind of pacing the floor. And we're like, man, he's like, you got it yet? I was like, uh-uh. And you could hear the choir singing out there and we're pacing in the back. He's like, you got it yet? I was like, uh-uh. And it finally hit me that for whatever reason, Jesus, you don't want me to have a sermon right now but I gotta trust you because you called me and you gotta do this. And something came over me. It was like the confidence of the Holy Spirit that really took a hold of me. Because I'm telling you, I was in a moment where I was bound. <laughs> my mind, my creativity was bound, but I just says, God, you called me, I'm just gonna trust you. And this is an old school church, so you walked out, we're literally like 12, 13 preachers, and we all walked out into the big pulpit that was high on the rostrum in those days. And I'm getting ready to sit down and I had a vision. And in my spirit, I was looking at the ceiling of the church, but God showed me a mountain that had water coming over the mountain like a waterfall. And I'm, you know, it's gonna sound a little mystical, gonna sound a little weird, but whatever. But I saw a passage <laughs> come off the, the mountain, and then I saw three points, a new dawn, a new fire, and a new you. And I preached from the dedication of the temple. I think it was First Chronicles our second Chronicles, and 99 people gave their heart and life to Jesus Christ that night. You know why that happened? Because the word of God is not bound. That God uses broken sticks all the time to hit straight targets. And you may feel like you're in a moment where you're bound and that you're as good as a broken stick, but if you stick to the word, God can still use you and bless you and move in your life because the word of God it's not bound. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.